Let's Island Lobos. Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Monday, May 7th. I'm Kaylani, and this is my co-anchor, McKenna. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. The softball tournament is underway. Congratulations to the Heat for their second consecutive victory. Tomorrow, May 8th, Hit Crew will be playing against the Peaches, and the Heat will be playing against the Shorties. All teams must be on the field within five minutes of the lunch bell. Feel free to come and support your team. Attention Circle of Friends Monday members. Please be in the gym, please be in the NPR at lunch. The yearbook for 2017 through 18 is due to arrive in less than two weeks. If you aren't sure if you've purchased one, please come to room 472 and check by Mr. Jacobson. If you want to purchase one, there are only $50 at the ASB window. The price will increase to $55 once the book is here. Attention all Golden Valley athletes. There will be an important meeting for you and your parents tonight at the Golden Valley High School Theater from 6 to 8 p.m. If you have a chance to meet the coaches and GB staff, learn about athletic programs, and get information on summer athletic camps, there will also be information on SAT and ACT workshops. And now, we are fortunate to welcome our principal, Mrs. Kranz, who would like to say a few words. Good morning, Lobos. I'm here to talk today about the altercations that have been happening here at school and after school out on that hill and down at the community, at the, <clears throat> um, the businesses down in the community. It's unacceptable. It's embarrassing. And it's really disappointing it's disappointing on a number of cases. Number one, if you're having a problem with one of your peers, you come and you let an adult know and we're gonna help you work through it. If we can get in front of it before the altercation happens, no one's in trouble. It's also disappointing that everybody seems to know about these altercations that are gonna take place and yet text a tip is not blowing up. Text a tip should be blowing up with who's having a problem, when the problem's gonna happen, and where it's gonna happen. Remember, it's not snitching because you're trying to get your friends to not fight so they don't get in trouble. If you fight, you can be arrested, you can be suspended, and you can be unwelcomed from this school here at La Mesa, and we don't wanna see that for anybody. It's also disappointing the number of people that are choosing to run towards the altercation. Seriously. You create a really unsafe situation, and we have talked about this before. I have students on this campus who are medically fragile. You run the risk of knocking them over. You run the risk of you yourself getting hurt in the movement towards something. And you put pressure on the two people fighting, it increases the chances that they're actually going to fight. Videotaping, seriously. I am so sad to see this mob-like, animalistic behavior from our students. How disgusting. And these videos get out there. I know you guys aren't on Facebook because it's not cool, but I am. And I see videos of our students on the community pages. And you know, people judge our school. We have a fantastic school. We have a fantastic school with amazing teachers, amazing counselors, amazing support staff, and quite frankly, amazing students. Why? should we be shown in anything less than amazing? It has to stop. We want a safe school, during school, before school, and after school, and we need your help. Please, have respect and pride in La Mesa. We are all working so hard to make this a great place. And when you run towards an altercation, you have no idea what you're really running towards. What if somebody were to introduce a weapon into that situation? Think about it, La Mesa. Let's work together to make this the great school that we know that it is. Be awesome. I'm counting on you. Thank you. 
The library will be closed today. Library. The library will be closed at lunch today. Please take care. Of, please plan to take care of your library business at brunch or after school. ASB is hosting a Spirit Week this week. Today is Crazy Sock Day. You should have your most crazy, crazy and creative socks to participate. Come to the outdoor stage and show them off for a chance to win tasty treats. Tomorrow, we will be having a Converse vs. Vans Day. So come to school rocking your Vans gear or put on your favorite pair of Converse and rep the all-star brand. Don't forget to cheer on the softball games at lunch. Today in history, nothing interesting in history occurred on this date, but yesterday marked the 81st anniversary, 1937, of the explosion of the Hindenburg. It is the largest airship in the world, and it exploded when it came in contact with a mooring mass. 36 passengers and crew members lost their lives. But today is also the birthday of Argentinian spiritual leader, Eva Persson. She would have been 99 years old. The word of the day for today is interment. It is a noun. The definition is putting a dead body in, in the earth or a tomb, a burial. A sample sentence would be, after the funeral, there was a separate graveside ceremony for the interment of the body. Sorry for your loss. Something you should know about today. Today is National Packaging, Packaging Design Day. Celebrate the art of packaging design as well as design professionals living in the golden age of packaging. The packaging is now much more than a means to protect a product or display a name. It's a physical representation of a brand to the consumer. Packaging is compelling. It's not just what's on the shelf that matters, but the unveiling process as well. The layers, the textures, and the moment of anticipation before seeing the product. People may not think of the packaging designers when purchasing a product or while con opening up a <laughs> gift, but they exist, orchestrating the process from sketch to shelf. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For Kaylani, Ms. Krods, and the entire crew of Lubase Alive, I'm McKenna. Have a magnificent Monday and your state test.